Okay guys, so I thought you would like to see how I make healthy, very um, easy made nachos. This is just for like a quick supper, but something that's still on the healthier side, okay? So this is a can of chili. And I made one set of nachos the other night. I used some of this chili on pizza last night and I'm finishing the rest of the chili tonight um, for the dip in place of salsa. Now there's already sodium in the chili. You guys know that in any type of canned food there's, you know, sodium. It smells good. This chili is the best one. Um, <laughs> sodium. What? I had no idea. Okay, this is sickening. Can you guys see the sodium? Sodium, 75% right there. Sodium. Are you kidding me? There is no need for this to have 75% sodium in it. That's sickening. And it is the last time I'll be buying this. I didn't pay close enough attention. I knew canned goods have more salt, but to have 75% it's made in USA. Why are they using so much salt? Like, oh, that turns me off. Like that actually upsets me. There's no need for that. There's just out, like zero need. Oh crap, I need that spoon. Anyway, this is leftover extra lean hamburger that I made yesterday for the pizza. I heated it up in the microwave. I just gotta break it up some. Anyway, it's nice and chunky. I'm just throwing it on top of the chili. Wow, 75%. Like, uh, the other, like, a few months ago, me and my aunt were at the dollar store, and she loves meatballs and gravy, and I was thinking, ooh, I should get a can for my dogs. That way I could, like, take half of the can and mix it with rice, and they could have it for a few days until I looked at the sodium level and it was 99% sodium. And I, I, I thought that's definitely an error on their packaging. Definitely. Why? There's, again, there's no need for 99% sodium in anything. And um, I checked other cans and it was the same thing. I don't think it was an error. I think they're just loading things with chemicals to make people sick. Like, I can see you having some sodium in canned goods higher than normal. But to have 99% and 75% sodium, that's sickening. There's no explanation that would make me happy to be knowing, like, okay, that's why you put 70-some percent. No. No. So, you guys, this is just the grated cheese. And this cheese grater sucks. Okay. Wow. The chili does smell good. I will give it that. It smells good. And I already know it tastes good, but I won't be buying that again. Now, this is um, chopped up fresh green pepper that I had left over. And I'm just loading it right on top. You want to use as many fresh. You guys know this. I'm trying to cook healthier. Like, you know, when you go to a restaurant, nachos are not considered healthy. So when I make them, I try to make them healthier, as healthier as possible, is what I should say. Anyway, I feel like a total fail because the salt content is like, kind of just ruins everything. But on the plus side of things, I will say, I do have a bag of tortilla chips that I intentionally purchased, no salt. So at least those have no sodium, at least there's that. So some beautiful fresh red onion here, which always adds so much nice flavor. Um, I do have fresh tomatoes, but I don't think I'm gonna put it on. I think I'm just gonna leave it Keep it simple, but, oh, I'll show you guys the chips. Hold on. So these are the tortilla chips. 
unsalted, unsalted. And they're so good. And when you're having them, they're very like plain, but they got a beautiful crunch and it lets you taste your salsa. It lets you taste your fresh ingredients. Now, honestly, I thought I was being smart using chili because extra flavor. Wow, that's heavy. Um, you could put cream cheese if you want. You know how they do cream cheese salsa on that? You could do the cream cheese with your chili. It'd be way better to have homemade chili in here, obviously after learning about that. Oh, that is disappointing, but we're gonna make the most of it tonight. So these chips here, they're the stone ground volcanic unsalted. They're also gluten-free, they're whole grain. Is there a brand name? Is that the organic Q pasta? Now they had many different, these were not where, sorry guys that that's loud. These tortilla chips are not where the normal Tostitos and all that is. If you're looking for them, they're not there. They're in a whole different aisle. I think it's where the health goods are or the gluten-free goods are. I forget where I found it, but it was in a completely different section. And, um, yeah, so this is what I non-salted. Now let's just check sodium on here. Sodium, zero milligrams. Yay. So... Sodium, zero milligrams, zero percent. But yeah, anyway, my hubby's going to enjoy that. But like I said, I got to be more careful and look at the sodium before I buy it. Because I, I wouldn't have purchased that can of chili at all. And that's my fault. I should have, I should have looked. But look at this beautiful, fresh um, dip. It's, it's actually refreshing. You're not going to eat this and then feel crappy afterwards so it's gonna be a great supper the smell of this I wish you guys could smell it it smells divine but yeah you could just it up with the cream cheese underneath the chili and stuff like that it would be great but yeah it's gonna be good I just wanted to show you is I heated the leftover slice of homemade pizza from yesterday so my hubby's gonna have that and these salt-free um Tostitos, but I'm gonna, they're not Tostito brand, but I'm gonna do a taste test with the homemade dip here. I wanna get some chili from underneath. I don't care about the hamburger. Oh, it just smells. I wanna save the hamburger for my hubby. Why am I having such a hard time? I did put a spoon there for him. Mm. This is honestly a 50. Wow. Absolutely delicious. Beautiful, beautiful meal.